Hello. In this video, I would like to talk a little bit about two commands that may be useful to you algebraically. Those are the simplify command and the expand command. The simplify command, what does it do? Well, it kind of does what it says. It simplifies algebraic expressions, but it will not multiply out algebraic expressions. That's the role of expand. So let me do a few examples of each one. So the simplify command, it performs a sequence of algebraic and other transformations on whatever expression that you want to put in here. So let's start with an example. So a lot of times we're going to be dealing with fractions in here. And I just hit control forward slash in order to do this. So let's say the numerator is x squared minus 1. And the denominator is x plus 1. Now if I hit shift enter, it just does the same thing. But if I'm looking carefully here, there are a lot of options down here, and one of them is called simplify. So let me click on that. So what did it just do? It took this last output, output 17, and applied the simplify command to it. If I simplify that fraction, there's a factor of 1 plus x in the numerator, and I cancel those out. Now, what does simplify not do? A lot of times when you're in your math classes, you're asked to possibly multiply out something like this. Well, if I hit shift enter again, it doesn't do anything. And if I try to put the word simplify in front of it, which I can do, it doesn't do anything to it. This is where the expand command comes into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, a control C. I'm going to place it down in the expand area. Now the expand command, that multiplies out products. So here's the example I want to use is the one we just tried. I'm going to put the word expand in front of it. Now, again, if I can spell expand correctly, Make sure you put an open and close square bracket on this. If I expand it, it multiplies out the entire thing, which is really nice. Now, I said this video was just going to talk about simplify and expand, but I, I, want, I want to talk about some of these down here. Now, if I expand it and then hit factor, well, what does factor do? Factor is the opposite of expand. And sometimes the word factor is going to come into play here. So I'm going to add on the word factor into all this. So the factor command, it does exactly what you think it should do. So a lot of students ask me, when should I use simplify? When should I use expand? Well, that's up to the problem. If there's any multiplication that needs to be done, expand should be used. But if you want to cancel out terms, combine terms, simplify should be used. Is it possible that you use both, one and then the other? Well, the answer is yes. It is up to you to determine that. I hope this video was helpful. See you later. Have a great day. Bye.